Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam said that that is riba. You, let us use elegant language. You exploited his ignorance of the market price to extract from him a profit or a gain to which you were not justly entitled. It's elegant language, isn't it? <laughs> Americans don't use that. Americans say you ripped him off. <laughs> It's a ripoff. That's riba. That's riba. The biggest ripoff of all that has occurred since Adam alayhi salam set foot on earth. That's quite some time ago. Is this one? Oh, I know. Have it with me? Have you ever seen it? You take a piece of paper and you print a picture. And you put a number and you do not repeat what Imran was saying is saying now until you have studied international monetary economics so you must know your subject so anyone who stands up to you will get a fitting reply you take a piece of paper you print a picture you put a number you say abracadabra <laughs> And you assign to the piece of paper an entirely fictitious value. So you make wealth out of nothing. If you can do that, my gosh, you could buy all the oil of Saudi Arabia. All that you need is some machines, some paper and some ink. And you need a couple hundred thousand jackasses out there. Excuse the language. <laughs> and you could buy all the oil in Saudi Arabia. And that's what they did. That's what they did. That is the international monetary system that exists today. Don't bother to go back to 1944 and Bretton Woods when they were throwing dust in your eyes. And you didn't see it because you always drink in Tetari. And there's too much traffic to study the Quran. If you had done that, you would have seen that this paper currency is bogus, is fraudulent, it's haram. Hmm? When I said this 15 years ago, they were laughing at me. And when I said that the US dollar has to collapse, it's bound to collapse. And when it collapses, it will bring down all the paper money with it. They thought that I belong to this Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's the kind of response I got 15 years ago. I heard your former prime minister say, money has no intrinsic value. That's what Dr. Mahathir said. Those days, of course, he had eyes that he couldn't see. But I gather that later on he began to see. And then he called for the gold denial. But for 15 years now we have been saying that this is bogus, this is fraudulent, this is haram. The only thing we did not do is to cry that the tears would come out of our eyes. No, we couldn't wake them up. No, we couldn't wake them up. So how are we going to get out of the situation in which we are when the Jal has attacked us with his deadliest weapon and has achieved success after success until he is now on the verge of imposing universal political, economic and financial slavery upon mankind. And yet the Ummah of Muhammad is busy drinking Tetari. It's a pitiable situation. But I have hope in the young ones. 
There is a tomorrow which is coming. When this Quran is going to dazzle the world. There is a tomorrow which is coming. When this Quran is going to shake the world. Allah says, Sanurihim ayatina fil afa wa fi anfusihim hatta hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq as the ayat of Allah unfold the ayat of Allah will demonstrate conclusively the truth of his love where are those those scholars where are those gifted blessed scholars who are to come tomorrow Maybe one of them is sitting in this gallery. They're going to be chosen. We will be in our graves. But they are going to take the banner of Islam. They're going to take the Quran and take he who taught the Quran and dazzle the world by using the Quran as we have done tonight in a humble way and using the ahadith of the Prophet to explain the reality of the world in which we now live. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may bless one from amongst you, inshallah. Rabbana taqabla minna inna ka anta samir alim wa tub'alina ya mulana inna ka anta tawabur alim barakatika ya ahmarah.